Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, I've got a, another quick build tip video, and that's for when it comes to building brackets, so aluminum brackets. Now usually the aluminum you get from hardware stores or you know, even online sometimes you get like 6061 aluminum, and the issue with that is when you come to when it comes to doing brackets and you want to make something like this, this is going to be a fuel cell bracket, it doesn't really bend very easily. So I usually get one inch, uh, one inch by eighth inch when I'm doing brackets. And you know, here's a piece of the same stuff, for example. Now, when you go to bend this, what'll happen is it'll want to break. And I will show you that right now. So I'm just gonna put this in my vise. Uh, if I had a metal brake, I'd use that, but I don't. I use a vise and a hammer to bend all my stuff. Not ideal, but you know, sometimes you gotta work with what you got. So I'll go to bend this, and it's really hard to bend too. And it breaks. Every time you try to bend it, it breaks. Now, how do you prevent that from happening is a blowtorch. Something as simple as a blowtorch. Now I have this scribed out where I want to uh, bend it right there. So I'll just turn the gas on and basically just hold it over, hold it over where you want to bend it for you know 30, 40 seconds, make sure to get each side. And you'll be able to tell when it's almost ready, the metal will get a little bit shinier. It'll clean all the, the coatings and all that shit off of it, burn all that away. And you'll know it's uh, it's annealed and, and ready to bend. So heat this up, flip it over, and get the other side. And I guess when the gas shuts off, it's uh, it's ready to go. I mean, not really, but you know. So let's find my scribe marks right there. I'm gonna line it up in the vise. Pull the vise back a little. And make sure your, your marks are completely level, otherwise your bend is gonna be a little crooked. And I mean, you can fix that, but it's easier just not to have that happen. So, now, now that I annealed the metal, bends super easy like butter and doesn't break. And there you go. I overbent it a little, but it's annealed so I can bend it back. Now, what you can do is if you are you know you're going to be getting brackets, getting material to bend and you know do a lot of work with, you can get 3003 aluminum and that bends really easy and you don't have to worry about that breaking. Um, I don't remember the filler rod I use offhand for that though, I'd have to double check on that and you know if, if, if it's something you're actually interested in, let me know and I can post down in the comments uh, what kind of filler rod I use for that. But yeah, there you go. It's, uh, it's a good way to, to bend 6061 without having it break and make cheap brackets with. So another build tip, I'll catch you guys later.